Hello, and welcome to ProTrader Strategies Market Commentary for Monday, March the 14th. My name's Eric Wilkinson. Some of you may recognize me as the Wolfman from CNBC, Fox Business, or even the Wall Street Journal, where I've commented on everything from economic to geopolitical and market analysis. Please keep in mind that everything that we talk about in these market commentaries is not a solicitation to buy or sell any of these securities or strategies. At the end of the day, we're here to teach you some different strategies that you can implement into your own portfolios, but please do that in your own way. The reason why I can't give you a recommendation on a particular stock or strategy is because I don't know your risk parameters. I don't know what's in your portfolios. Therefore, what I'm doing could be counterintuitive to what you are already doing. Having that out of the way, let's get this on. Not really any economic data coming out today uh, here or across the pond for the most part. The only thing that we really got today that has put oil in a bit of a downspin down, as you can see here, crude oil forward slash CL down $1.66 was uh, the Russian energy minister came out and said that Iran would consider joining the global uh, oil cap, if you will, uh, for production but only after it restores its oil production back to levels it enjoyed before international sanctions. So what does that mean? It means that they're gonna ramp up uh, oil production in Iran, and once they achieve their uh, quotas, then they will start to look at uh, cutting back, if you will. They don't wanna start cutting back before they're completely ramped up. So that has sent uh, crude oil uh, spinning downwards, as you can see here on the chart. Uh, on to the equity markets. Uh, NASDAQ is leading the way right now. Forward slash NQ, as you can see here, is up 10 points, just over 10 points. Uh, but right here at the volume value area, as you can see, the volume, or sorry, the time value area is quite higher, but the volume has moved down here to where we are right now. So uh, it seems like there is, uh, price is being accepted at these levels. On to uh, the E-mini S&Ps. They're the laggers right now, down five points on the day. As I said, NASDAQ up on the day, forward slash ES, which is the E-mini S&Ps down on the day. So uh, just treading in negative territory. If we look at the breakdown 15 minute chart, as you can see inside day, when we talk about an inside day, it means that it hasn't achieved the uh, high of the previous day or the low of the previous day. So we are right there at an inside day. Point of control is uh, the same as it was at, on Friday. Moving on to some trades that I put on. I did a webinar on Friday talking about gearing up for earnings uh, and getting ready for earnings right now. So uh, the reason why we're doing that is because we have really low implied volatility and what we are looking for is an expansion in it volatility around those earnings, uh, which almost always happens. So uh, I picked a couple of stocks that had super low implied volatility percent and uh, built some strategies on calendars around that where we're selling the front month to help finance paying for that long call in the uh, earnings cycle. So with uh, Southwest Airlines, which is ticker symbol LUV, I did the April one weeklies and then bought the April four weeklies on the 45 call. So it's an April one, April four, 45 call calendar. And I uh, paid 75 cents for that. So I paid a debit for that. And what I'm expecting to see happen is have that front call fall off worthless which helped finance that long call in the back month. And I might even roll that April uh, short duration uh, short call out in time and collect a little bit more premium as we go along to try and uh, get that call for free. So we'll have to see how that works out. But right now I am short the April 1, 40, uh, April 1 weeklies, the 45 calls, and then long the April 4 weekly 45 calls. Uh, in that same underlying. So if you wanna to go to protraderstrategies.com, I just did an hour long webinar on all the details, breaking it down step by step and why we uh, use the strikes that we're using. You can go to protraderstrategies.com and sign up for that. That was a really good one. Uh, I had a lot of back and forth with some uh, participants in that webinar. It was, uh, I think a lot of people got a lot out of that one. 
So another one that I put on uh, that we talked about during this webinar that I was looking at is Microsoft, which is ticker symbol MSFT. And I did the same uh, cycles on this because their earnings are falling really close to one another. I think they're both on uh, April 21st. So I did the April 1 weeklies with the April 4 weeklies again and did the 54 call calendar. So it's the April 1 weekly I sold. The April 4 weekly is the one that I bought on the 45 calls to create that calendar and paid 88 cents for that. So uh, right in line with my rules for both of those that I talked about in that webinar on the uh, what I'm willing to kind of pay for those, the strike locations and the ID percent that I'm looking for. So go to ProTraderStrategies.com if you want to find out a little bit more about those. But I said I was going to put those on and they still looked pretty good today. Uh, on to Tesla, up uh, it's almost $6 today off of somebody basically upgrading Tesla and saying it could go to 30 or $300. Um, so... Uh, anyway, it's rallying, but unfortunately, I put this trade on on Friday, so uh, getting uh, tested a little bit, I guess, if you will. And I have on the April uh, 200, 225 call spread in there, and I collected a dollar sixty for that spread, so it is twenty five dollars wide, and I collected a dollar sixty for that straight or dollar sixty for that trade. So. Uh, it's not looking real great right now, but uh, anyway, the uh, I must have done, I did the two, sorry, on that spread, I did the 220, uh, 225 call spread on that. So yeah, the 220, 225 call spread on that, sorry, for $1.60 that I collected for that. So came up and tested these 220s on there and uh, not quite got there, but made me a little bit nervous this morning with that upgrade. Okay, so that was a trade that I put on. A trade that I took off here was uh, in Schlumberger, which is ticker symbol SLB. And I've had this on for quite a while. It was in the March, and I only had like four days to go. And finally came, uh, got both of my strikes out of the money today with this bit of a sell-off. Uh, on Friday, it was not looking too good as I came up and tested those 75s again. But I had on the March... 75, 77 and a half call spread. Originally sold it for 56 cents. Was able to buy it back for 29 today. Very close to 50% of my max profit on that. But as you can see here, I've had it on for quite a while. It came up into the 75s. Was looking like it, I was even at one point thinking I was going to be taking a full loser on that. But, you know, thankfully it has come back off. And I decided to cover that as quickly as I could on that one today. I was going to give up more than 50% of my max profit on that to get out today and I achieved that so uh, just a penny off of that 50% max profit anyway Friday we're going to be doing another webinar on gearing up for these options uh, trades because we're having really low implied volatility I really don't see the market moving as we have op options expiration cycles coming on Friday so the market pr could very well just trade sideways for the next few days so as that volatility comes out, or it'll give us more opportunity to find some of these earnings trades and gear up them right now. Um, and we're going to be doing it on puts. So uh, I didn't want to do both of them at the same time. It started getting a little bit long in the tooth, I guess, if you will, uh, on time. So we decided to split that up into two segments. And it looks like it works out much better. Uh, and people aren't going to be as confused as to which rules and which placing uh they are going to put these trades on. So uh, check that out. Go to ProTraderStrategies.com. That's all I got for you today. If you can't take that, take it easy.